welcome back guys to my youtube channel so guys if you've not subscribed please 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 you have to subscribe to my channel and please beside the subscription button you will see the notification button please just put your notification button on so anytime i upload you guys will get notified so guys on today's video i'm going to discuss 10 things you need to know before moving or visiting accra ghana yes guys <laughs> guys as i said earlier i'm going to tell you 10 things you need to know before visiting or moving to accra ghana especially accra number one thing you need to know is transportation transportation in accra it's kind of expensive depending on which one you are taking if you are if you are going to especially when you take taxi taxi is very very expensive even though you are going from this junction to just this other junction you can charge almost um eight cities or five cities or so and in naira that's almost like like 600 naira or so but trotro trotro is a bit affordable but to me it's still quite expensive for trotro I just don't know if, if, if you don't have enough money with you, you can't go out. So from Osu to maybe another place, Achimota or something, you can take almost three buses. And your transport fare going and coming can be almost 15 to 20 cities, guys. It's quite expensive on my own side. I don't know of other people. And number two is their language, guys. One thing about Ghanaians is that they cherish their language a lot. Anywhere you go to, you find yourself among people that are speaking their local dialects. Man, before before they will speak English to you, they will first speak the dialect to you to make sure that ah maybe you understand or you don't understand. And okay, guys, I'll I'll be mixing pidgin and English so that I can communicate well with you guys. So one thing we say for this country, Accra, they too they speak that language, and their common language is Chui, and they have like almost forty different, like more or more than forty different languages in Ghana as a whole. But the common ones I know of, the one where I sabi be Chui, Chui is the common language. Then Gan. There's another language, Ghana language, they call it Ga. There's Fancy, there's Ewe, and some other languages. I don't know of the rest, yeah. Number three is their fashion. So in Ghana, yeah, most of the ladies like to wear light clothes. They love wearing light clothes, and they love wearing um, all these short, short clothes. clothes. Some of them might even wear a top that they won't wear bra. Their nipple will be showing. And people will be passing, be look, they will be looking at them, but they will not talk. They will not talk that, what are you wearing, or this or that. Unlike Nigeria, that you can't wear those kind of clothes. Because our mothers alone will insult you. You say you feel ashamed of yourself. The best fashion in Ghana is kente clothes. That's one of their outfits I love most in Ghana. And even outsider tends to buy those out uh, like buy those ma that material that outfit yes so it's like ankara but they call it kente in ghana so anytime you are visiting ghana the first thing you want to buy while going back to your country is to buy their material kente is a very lovely material it lasts long and it's it's just beautiful it's a very beautiful fabric number four is their food guys their food is very very is cool they have nice nice food over here so um but they love all this kind of starchy starchy food like fufu you know like kk and all the rest they are common foods where i sabi where they come up for ghana be fufu kk wache uh which one they come again Kokonte, Kokonte is like Amala in Ghana, but their own Kokonte is is more like wheat. You understand? You know how wheat is not that black and all this kind of thing. Kokonte, which other food do they come on? 
I think for now, those are the ones I know that is very, very cool, more curious. So, apart from that, their soups are farm not soup, granola soup, even though you can find all the soup too in some parts of Nigeria, but it's also common in Ghana, yeah. Yeah, so that's all about their food. And then one thing about Ghanaians is that when you visit them, the one thing that I love about them is that they give food. They might not have money to give you. Especially when you have maybe relative in Ghana or you, or you are schooling in Ghana and you went to visit one of your relatives or something. What they will give you is food. Number five points is housing. Most of their housing, you have to pay two years rent, guys. I don't understand. I don't know why they bring that kind of rules. Most before you can rent a house, most of the housing in Ghana, actually in Accra, you have to pay for two years rent. If you don't, if you don't pay for two years, you will not get house for Ga Accra year. It's rare for you to see house of one year, and their housing is expensive. If you want to rent housing, one year alone, you spend uh, depending, even though anywhere in Accra, the least you can get in Accra for housing, and it's just a room, uh, toilet, and kitchen. There's no, there's no parlor or anything, no, it's not two rooms or anything, no, just a room. At least the least you get is 1800, that's like almost one hundred and fifty k or so. Whereas that 150 k. I can use that and get two bedroom flats in Nigeria. In some part of Nigeria, I can use that and get. There are some parts in Ghana yet that too that you can get the um, house rent cheaper. But in Accra, your house rent is very, very expensive, guys. It's so expensive. So that's one thing about Ghana, yeah. So uh, their housing is expensive. Even their hotels too. You have to before you come to Accra, you have to have enough money, guys. Gather yourself because <laughs> if you think there are some things that you budget for, and you think, oh, I might not spend up to that when I come to Accra. It's a lie, yo. It's better you have times three of that money with you before coming to Accra, because before you know you tend to spend more than what you've budgeted and that's what i would and that would be my next point my next point is be prepared to spend more than you expect be prepared to spend more than you expect guys how oh, for this country hmm, things are expensive in ghana feeding housing transportation there are some times that you will not plan some things, but you find yourself spending more than what you have. Like, actually, there are CDs. Their currency uh, is CDs. Is in CDs. There are CDs. Uh, when you get 100 CDs, 10,000 is like 120 CDs. By the time you split 50 CDs, you split them like this. Before you know it, within that day or the next day, that 50 CDs don't finish. Now, one thing I don't like about Ghana be that money, they quick finish. You say we go they wonder wait till I buy wait till I buy wait till I buy. before you know you go you go not to say you know even buy anything where it makes sense we get sense at all with the money. So one thing about this country is that you have to be prepared. Even though you prepare yourself, say there's sometimes that you go prepare yourself. Still you go still in this country, whether you like it or not, you get broke. It's one of the things you pass through where where you go get broke. So before you get broke, you have to plan ahead. So that actually when you get ten thousand naira, ten thousand naira will be say I feel use them for three weeks for Nigeria. That ten thousand naira is one twenty cities in Ghana. That one twenty cities within five days or less. Than, what am I saying? Less than one week say. Even three days. That one twenty cities is finish. Before you pay for lights bill, you pay for this. Even though you don't get lights bill to pay, you don't get any what whatever. Even feeding alone, feeding takes money in this country. So that's one thing you need to know. You have to be prepared to spend more than what you expect. Number seven point is their weather. Guys, especially during rainy season. Their rainy season, I don't understand. There are some years, maybe this year, rain go fall well uh, for during rainy seasons, season. Another year, rain will go too far. Like this year, 
during this rainy season this year, rain at like rain didn't rain did not really fall. Rain did not really fall this year. I can count the number of times rain fell in this country. And in Nigeria, I've been receiving calls that ah, rain has been falling. No, rain has been falling. No, ah, but yeah, rain ugly fall, guys. That's one thing I don't understand about. Sometimes I don't understand Ghana weather. So it sometimes it can be confusing. Very, very, guys. Apart from their rainy season, another one is their sun. Their sun is always scorchy. Very, very scorchy, guys. Ha! There are some times eh, that you you want to go out. The way the, the sun will be beating you. And people hardly use umble uh, umbrella in this country. So the sun alone is annoying. Even though sometimes, even though the sun is on out and it's during the daytime, you'll be finding yourself getting hot. It will be catching you. You'll be like, but sun never come out now. Sun no day now. Why everywhere day out? That's what you'll be asking yourself. Because, guys, I'm really in a cry. Their weather is just... It's summer. It's just summer. I just don't understand their weather. So, and lastly, Amatan period. The Amatan period is learning. The Amatan period na Lena. Complete Lena. You can't compare it to other countries. Especially my country, Nigeria. The Amatan period is in by Nigeria. The way everywhere will be cold. Your lips will be peeling. You'll be wearing jacket or be wearing sweater. But for this country, now so so does, 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 you go they smell the amatan. The, the amatan period is always cold in this country. There's sometimes the amatan period that everywhere else, today, it will be a bit cold. The next day, everywhere is already hot. But the annoying part is everywhere, your room will be filled with does, 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 does. So you'll be smelling does, does, does. But the weather will not be cold. At least let's at least even though your room is full of dust, let let us experience their cold weather. So number eight is their electricity and water supply, guys. One thing I like about Accra Ghana is their electricity, guys. That's one thing I, that makes me fall in love with Accra. Because in my own country, no, we know today get light. I no go lie. Nigeria, we know today get light. Ghana, yeah. Electricity is always there 24 7 guys. There's constant electricity, even though they take lights, guys. It will just be for like three to five hours, sometimes less than that. Sometimes it's just be like five minutes. They will bring the lights back. Now, what I like about Ghana be that you can have lights for th straight three weeks, sometimes straight one month before they'll take it. Sometimes it can be straight one week before they'll take it. And when they take it for few hours or few minutes, then your lights. Your constant light is back on. There's, there was a period that during Mahama reign, regime, sorry, during Mahama regime, their past president before Nana, there was a time that this man started this doom so doom so doom so doom so means light out, light out, light out, you know. So during Mahama regime, Mahama decided to start this doom so of a thing. In a week, you might not get light for like, let's say in seven days, you might not get light for like two days or three days. And people were always complaining because nobody has generator like that for this country. Who they use generator? If you say you want to come and be selling generator in Ghana, you will be at loss. So light, they always day for their water supply. Their water supply, guys. <clears throat> in this country, eh, the first time I came to Ghana, I was expecting to see most of the houses having well and everything but when i came to ghana i was like ah, why is it that they are not having well even the very 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 few houses as boho you see people hardly use tank to reserve water in their house it's very very hard for people to use boho so ah, i was not like how do they not get water and i heard that you have to pay for water bill. Government will supply you water and you'll be paying every month. Or um, more. I was like, eh, what are we be saying? We we know they pay for at all for Nigeria. Where we, we be say you go you go dig floor fast fast. Water go they flow. By the time you know it, you connect it to your borehole. But yeah, I don't know. It may be most of their land are dry. I just don't know. Because I don't understand why they don't have well. 
they say some there are some houses that have well but it's very rare uh, but their water is cool but the first time i got to ghana I, I reacted to their water you know change of environment will make you react to water so one thing you need to consider when coming to accra ghana is uh, bring your come with things that you can use to like because your 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 complexion will change your body system will react so you have to bring some creams some stuff to make sure that your skin keeps getting glowing because when i got to ghana newly usually when i came to i started schooling in ghana my first year in ghana my face was full of pimples and i mean pimples i was reacting to what there was i was having some kind of ratchets almost all over my body and i was having pimples all over my face guys i used from bat a there's no cream i did not try until when I now went back to Nigeria, that's when all those things just disappeared. So number nine point is their lifestyle, guys. People mind their business. They don't care about what you do. And there's one thing about Ghanaians is that when they, they love speaking, like they love slang, talking in it. They have their own slang. For example, they'll say Charlie, 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 where you they go now? Charlie, you don't chop. Charlie, have fun now. Ah. I will go run that parona. Chale, chale, chale. Chale means my friend. So that's one of their slang. Another slang is sa. Eh, hey, sa, sa. Sa means really. And the common one when you enter Ghana is aquaba. Aquaba means welcome. Aquaba, aquaba, aquaba. Even though, guys, me, I don't have to speak their language. But I'm trying to learn cha. I'm just, um, one thing about me is that I find it difficult to learn languages. It's, it's one of the difficult tasks you can give me to go and learn language. I don't know, but I just hope I'll still be able to catch up one or two things well. So that's one thing about their slangs you need to know. And there's one thing that annoys me: their pigeon. Their pigeon is very annoying. The way they, they speak pigeon, eh, I know they understand. You know they sweet for my ear. So sometimes they go tell you, guy, I go see you for road top. Wait, we can in the we can pigeon language be that I will see you for road top. That is, I will see you on the road. I will see you for road top. It's annoying. What kind of pigeon is that one? Some the other ones will say, ah, I will give you some. I will give you some. You get some. Every every everything they want to say. Even though you they will tell you bring my phone. They will say bring my phone some. Everything they want to say. They will have some 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 some. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand that one at all. You feel waka for this country day, night, midnight. So you can walk freely. Even their their children, you can see SS children. They're supposed to all the secondary school children that are supposed to come home before six p.m. in the evening. You see them coming home eight p.m., nine p.m. on their uniform. You be like really. So these people too. They get their their parents to know they complain. They'll be coming home in the night. But you can't try that in Nigeria because Nigeria is not really safe. When you go to school, before six, and you're not home, you're in trouble. African parents like Nigeria parents like you are dead. Dead dead. In Nigeria, you have to get home before six. even though you are not in school. As grown as you are, a lady. Most mostly guys are they always give guys freedom to work hard, but even sometimes guys too you have to get to Meli. As a lady, if you want to go any friend you want to go and visit in Nigeria, you must come back home by six. You can't you can't come home seven, eight, eh? You say you not even want to try it because your safety is more important. So security is very tight. You can work hard anytime. You can come home anytime. You can then the last one is business number 10 and on our final point you need to know before you visit or you move to accra ghana is their business ghana people know sabi do business where now waiting they kill them with that they know to sabi business let me give you an example there was a time i went to buy something at a store i think around 6 p.m right and what i wanted to buy was almost 10 cities what things i want to buy what 10 cities that's around 800 naira in naira i told the woman ma i want to buy this i want to buy this. she was just packing her thing so she's getting ready to close do you know what she told me she told me i have clothes i can't sell 
I was like, ma, I want to buy this and this and this. So that what I want to buy is not packed this. Now she said, no, I have clothes. I was like, really? For Nigeria? Even though you don't close shop, a person comes to tell you, say, I want to buy something. They'll go open it. They'll open that padlock sharply. They go there happy. They'll tell you, is that her? This, this. And Ghanaians were complaining in this country that Nigerians have taken over their land. They are taking over their business and everything. Why would they take over everything? Because you guys are not ready to reduce price. When a person wants to buy something for you, you, even though you never close shop, you are just about closing. You tell them you don't close. Is that how they do business? No. So that's that's what I can say about their business. Their business is okay. You can work, you can sell things anytime, any day, and it's more profitable when you sell in Ghana because in Nigeria, if I sh there's a like for instance, if I buy a bag in Nigeria, it might cost five thousand naira. In Ghana, yeah, you can sell it like maybe twenty thousand naira. You can sell it more, more than what like times four of what you buy of how you buy it in Nigeria. So that's all guys for today's video. Ah, oh, finally I don't finish. Ah, oh, I told they talk Abby. I like to shalaye. I am a shalaye person. So guys, that's it on today's video guys. Till next time. Guys, I'm signing house. I don't tire.